for electromagnetic wave, there are three things that you need to know. Eh? Uh, first, you need to know the characteristics of the electromagnetic wave. Eh? Mm. There are a few characteristics or natures of the electromagnetic wave that you need to know. First, you need to know that all electromagnetic waivers are transverse waivers. It's transverse waivers where the vibration is uh, perpendicular to the directions of the propagations first. And then you need to know that for electromagnetic wave, there are vibrations of uh, magnetic field and electric field. Vibrations of electric and magnetic field uh, inside an electromagnetic wave. That's why we call it electromagnetic wave. Uh, electromagnetic wave. Because it's formed by the vibrations of electric and magnetic, this is a magnetic field. And this two field is at right angle. Okay? If the electric field is uh, vertical, then the magnetic field is horizontal. So these two fields vibrate and combine together, then it forms electromagnetic wave. So you need to know that it's a transverse wave, and you need to know that it consists of uh, vibrations of two fields, electric field and magnetic field, and this two field is at right angle. Okay, it's at right angle. Uh, it can travel in vacuums, okay? So unlike mechanical wave, eh? Mechanical wave like sound wave, it cannot travel in vacuum because it need a medium. But electromagnetic wave, it don't need any medium. It can travel in vacuum. The speed, okay. The electromagnetic waves have a uh, same speed in vacuum. That is the speed of light, eh? three times ten to the power of eight. I think so. I better write it. Three times ten to the power of eight meter per second and that is the speed of light in vacuum uh, since light wave is one of the electromagnetic wave so therefore all electromagnetic waves have the same speed in vacuum but in other medium other mediums like uh, in solid and liquid uh, like in water or in glass uh, their speed will be different okay so different electromagnetic wave may travel at different speed in vacuum same speed eh? But other mediums, they have different speed. Okay, for example, uh, red light and uh, blue light. So in uh, in water, the red light travel faster than blue light. Both blue blue light and red lights are electromagnetic waves. Eh? Yes, uh, light wave is electromagnetic wave. Eh? So vacuum same speed. Other medium different speed. They are neutral. Okay, they are neutral. Eh? Because a lot of students, they think that, okay, since there, there is electric field, right? Mm, electric, so it must carry charge, and therefore uh, it must be either positive or negative. Huh? No, uh, okay? So there's no positive negative charge in the wave, and they are neutral. Uh, they can be polarized. Huh? Now, what does it mean by polarized? Huh? Just now, we have learned that electromagnetic wave is the combinations of the vibrations of electric field and magnetic field, right? Okay, so these two field, it combined together, combines together to form the electromagnetic field. Now, if these two fields are not coherence, okay? We learn coherence when we learn this, uh, this interference, huh? okay? Now, if the vibrations of these two field is not coherent, means that the frequency is not the same then the combinations of these two fields will produce electromagnetic wave which vibrates at different directions. A non-polarized wave is a wave that vibrates in all directions. Uh, let's say this picture, okay, see this picture, okay? Now this represents a non-polarized wave. And when this non-polarized wave passes through a filter called a polaroid, after it passes through these polaroids, eh, and these Polaroids, it has uh, patterns, uh, which is vertical. Uh. We have uh, this uh, vertical slit here. So when this uh, wave passes through the vertical, uh, this filter, okay, then only the vibration which is vertical can pass through this filter. Okay, the vibration which is not vertical, at the left, right, okay, uh, cannot pass through this filter. So after it passes through this Polaroid the wave uh, only vibrate in one direction only up down uh, 
only vibrates up and down okay and the wave that vibrate at one directions only uh, up down or so left right uh, only one direction uh, is called the polarized wave it's called the polarized wave so non-polarized wave it vibrate at, in all directions and polarized wave only vibrate at one directions uh, that's the difference between a, a polarized and a non-polarized wave eh? okay from the experiment we learned that electromagnetic wave can be polarized eh? can be polarized and only transverse wave can be polarized only transverse wave can be polarized eh? so if electromagnetic electromagnetic wave can be polarized means that electromagnetic wave is transverse wave so this is the proof eh? this is the proof that electromagnetic wave eh, is transverse wave okay and uh, since light is electromagnetic wave eh, so light is also a transverse wave eh? uh, so that is uh, about uh, polarization of wave uh, another thing that you need to know is if you put another polaroid okay another polaroid eh, and you see the slit of the of the, this polaroid this is vertical right this is horizontal eh? okay now if the slit of this polaroid okay polaroid uh, is at right angle with this one this vertical this is horizontal eh? so the light wave this this one it only vibrate up and down right okay so the wave that vibrate up and down cannot pass through this because this polaroid can only allow the wave which is vibrates left left right to pass through it eh? so therefore uh, no wave can pass through the second polaroid okay no wave can pass through the second polaroid and therefore uh, no wave can reach uh, here okay no wave can reach here actually polaroid is uh, very common in your daily life huh? okay it is used to make sunglasses yeah sunglasses huh? if you want to buy sunglasses try to buy sunglasses uh, which is uh, use polaroid yeah polaroid and also the 3d movie yeah? the glass that you wear in the 3d movie also a polaroid eh? okay now talk about sunglasses first okay if you want to buy sunglasses uh, you're advised to buy sunglasses uh, that use polaroid eh? polaroid it can really filter the sunlight eh? the ultraviolet light because other other sunglasses eh? which is not polaroid eh? they cannot filter ultraviolet light okay so this they say this is the sunglasses that you want to buy okay you want to buy polarized uh, sorry polaroid sunglasses eh? okay so how do you make sure that these sunglasses these sunglasses is a uh, polaroid okay very easy you just take two pieces of sunglasses okay ask the shopkeeper to give you two sunglasses the first one you put it this way the next one you put it this way okay you put it this way this is in front of this eh? okay this is in front of this and then you try to see through okay try to see through these two these two glasses eh? this and this eh? okay and then you try to rotate the second one try to rotate the second one okay now when you rotate eh, you will find that if if these are polaroids eh? okay you will find that at certain angle certain angles eh? okay you will find that it's totally dark you can't you can see nothing through these two glasses eh? if this happens then it's polaroid if it's not polaroid no matter how you rotate eh, the amount of the light that you can see should be the same if it's not polaroid then eh, just two piece two pieces of glasses eh, you no matter how you rotate you can still see something eh? but if it's polaroid if you rotate until the second one is a uh, perpendicular to the first one eh, no lights can pass through the polaroids are dense you will you will find that it's totally dark it's totally dark then it's polaroid polaroid eh? uh, is it same glass or different glass use two uh two glasses two sunglasses both must be must be polaroid eh? same types same types same brand same models same type uh, to check to see whether it's a polaroid and not not polaroid so what what you need to know about this okay first you need to know that electromagnetic waves it can be polarized 
if it can be polarized, then it must be transverse wave. Okay, transverse wave. Eh? Okay, and you need to know what does it mean by polarizations. Polarizations means that if we have a non-polarized wave, it vibrates in all directions. After it passes through a polaroid, a filter, polaroid filter, only the wave vibrates with the same directions as, as the polaroids can pass through, and therefore the wave will become polarized. A polarized means that it vibrates in one direction. Okay? And if you use another polaroid, you put another polaroid in front of the first polaroid and the angles of the second polaroid is perpendicular to the first polaroids, then it can 100% filter off the wave and no wave can pass through the, the second polaroid. This can be asked in structure questions. Eh? Okay? A lot of students, eh? uh, they don't know how to answer when this come out. Okay, because they, they don't really understand what does it mean by polarizations. Eh? Okay? Uh, make sure that you understand this.